No. All right. Why watch the YouTube video when I can watch Incineroar 3 live? You should watch both if you're real. Come on. All right. Anyways, let's grab some games. Let's just get right into it. All right. Also, I don't know if this is my first stream post getting three monitors or my second stream post getting three monitors. So I, uh, I, I, I might like be darting my head around left to right, trying to figure out where all my stuff is. But yeah, so this team that we're using is going to be a very bulky, uh, what's it called? Uh, a very bulky Sil Valley electric uh, with snarl, multi attack, uh, parting shot, and um, metal sound. We have a, a bulky uh, Zacian Calc South Speed Reggie Lucky at plus one speed. We have an Assault Vest Kyogre. Uh, we have a Focus Session Moongus. And we have Safety Goggles, Prankster, Support Thunderous with Eerie Impulse, and Rain Dance, as well as a White Herb Lander Therian. So, yeah, let's do it. Let me rearrange my monitors. I think I'm not used to having them in the way they are right now. That's a little bit better. Jason rank 385. Okay. You, monitor, tilt upwards slightly. Thank you. Thank you, monitor. All right. Ooh, okay. So this is probably just going to be... Um, it, it's sort of like Calyrexation balance, but like if they just took away the balance and made a hyper offense. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Um, I don't hate the Sylvalli lead. I don't hate Soul Valley whatsoever, actually. The only thing is if it's like, um, if it's Defiant Thunderous, it could be a little bit annoying. I'm thinking for this game, we can pretty much go like Thunderous, Soul Valley, Kyogre, and Zashin in the back, and that should work. I feel like Sash Amoongus is just best Amoongus right now, for being honest. Oh, I just realized that none of my layout is present. Come on. Hold on. There we go. I'm back. That's the dude. Who remembers the ancient power boosts? Who remember the? Who remembers those? That was actually really funny. All right, cool. I love this lead because I've basically shut down their entire game plan. I go for my eerie impulse. I go for my snarl. There isn't much beyond that. Uh, if they want to go into their thunderous and I lose, um, that is an option, but only. Only if they're a very particular Thunder. So let's Eerie Impulse here. And next turn, I'll Thunder Wave. How's the in-game audio? Is it too loud? Can it be louder, quieter? Let me know. Switcheroo? Switcheroo? Okay, you're just going to take my goggles then. That's fine, though. Because um, oh, you might be Choice Specs. Isn't this... I feel like this is a team. I feel like this is a team that I've seen before. Probably Choice Specs. All right, that did nothing. Never mind. You're not choice specs. I know that I'd made it minus two, but with the specs, it'd be a lot less damage. <laughs> or it'd be a lot more damage. Let's go ahead and go uh, Kyogre here. Actually, I'll, I'll go Zacian. I'll go Zacian. What's fun about Soul Valley is I don't believe you can switch your root or anything. So it's actually like very safe in the uh, Wimscat leads like that. All right, good damage. I would like to avoid a parting shot, or not a parting shot, a Will-O-Wisp. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go for another Snarl. And I'll actually go right back out into my Thundee because it's gonna take like no damage from anything here. Hey, thanks for the follow, Crispy Bacon. Also, let me know if my notifications are too loud. That's usually an issue when I mess up my audio settings a lot. Alright, that's going to be Defiant Thundee, isn't it? I always love your stream filter. It's different. What do you mean? I have a stream filter? I don't think I have a stream filter. That could just be my crappy uh, capture card quality. 
All right, are you defiant, sir? Am I about to am I about to lose? Oh god. All right. Um, let me think. So, fun fact, uh, multi-attack gets weaker when you Dynamax it. So we're gonna do this. Luckily, I resist both of Thunderous' stabs. And I'm fairly bulky. So this should do a decent amount, but I am very, 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 very scared of Defiant Thunderous. What makes a new Incineroar a new Incineroar? Um, it, it has to be saucy, it has to lower attack and special attack, and it needs to be bulky as hell. Moonblast, that's probably gonna go into, yep. Does like nothing though. Max Lightning. Alright, uh, that's actually not terrible, I'm gonna get a boost on this move now. I hope he's life orb. Okay. Alright. Um, it is life orb. We did do a lot of damage, and I am very scared. So I'm gonna go Zashin here. I'm gonna go Zashin here. It's obviously in range of Behemoth Blade or whatever. I think it's in my best interest just to double attack here. Uh, and the main reason is uh, my, my multi attack did a lot. It's taking life orb recoil, and it basically comes down to like a roll. <laughs> I could also Dynamax, but that's the issue here. Um, like I said, my move gets weaker when I do that. Do I double attack? I kind of have to if we're being real. Otherwise, I have to make a really annoying prediction. And they're probably going to... I think they might even leave the Zacian alone, if we're being honest. Alright, there's their Zacian. Let's see. Incineroar 3's is... Yeah, someone pointed that out in the comment section today. Uh, Incineroar 3 is a Sil Valley, so it's Incineroar 3's is. Because it's the son of God. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Uh, he crits. Not that it matters. That probably would have KO'd at plus 2 anyways. Uh, their Zacian is very scary. Um, but I can just KO it with uh, Kyogre. Since I'm super, super bulky. So my play is Protect Max Geyser. Nice. Does an Incin have to directly lower both attacking stats? Yes. Or does Burn count? Burn does count. Burn does count. Because uh, Calyrex. Calyrex was the original Incineroar too, so that counts. Okay, um, I kind of want to max strike here. I kind of want to max strike. But also, I'm not a super fast Kyogre. So they might still be faster. Might be my best interest just to... Um, eh, I am super special. I am like super defensive on my Zacian is the thing. But I am very scared of this. I don't think they can double the KO me though. That's the thing. That's, that's like the real thing that's bugging me here. Let's go ahead and just go for the max strike onto you for the speed boost. And I'll protect here. And if they protect their, their Zacian, that's going to be huge. That's actually really, really good for me. Because their Tailwind should run out at the end of this turn unless I miscounted. Which, to be very, very honest, I probably did. Astro Barrage. Should bounce off of me, more or less. Yeah. Uh, and they actually go for the sub here, which I'm fine with, because I still lower their speed stat. And this might break it. It's 150 base power. I'm going to say it breaks it if it's like a noble exhaustion. Yes! Okay, okay. Right, that's, that's actually really good. 
That's really, really good. Alright, um... Tailwind Peter's out too. Amazing. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. My play here is just going to be the Geyser, the Calyrex. And... Ooh, maybe I actually Behemoth Blade the Calyrex. No, 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 because I think... Even if Whimsicott comes in, it doesn't take the Geyser very well. Let me make sure I'm choosing the strong Geyser, because that is a big difference here. Ooh, I'm scared. Maybe I double attack. Nah, let's just do it. Station protects, that's fine. Because, like, they can't KO my Kyogre this next turn, and I just get to attack the Zacian, and then I win. How's the new job going? Really good. I actually really like the company I work for. I get my first paycheck on Friday. That's the super exciting part. And yeah, I just always double the Zacian here, and there's no way I lose. Big game for Incineroar 3, even though it only did one thing at the beginning of the match. We might even get to see Hyper Beam get clicked. There's the B-Blade. Like I said, I have a lot of defense on this guy, so if that's into Kyogre, we're like, good. Yep. Nice. Good game. There's my B-Blade that should do it from this range unless they're like super, super bulky. We want G-Max to turn. You are speaking for the people. You are speaking for the people right now. You know how badly I want to use G-Max Eternatus and have like a base 255 attack stat? Or not attack stat, HP stat. And that does one shot. So even if they came in on that last turn, they would have lost. That's good. Alright, nice. I do want to check out that team because it seems very familiar. If it's Specs Eternatus, I know the team. Excuse me, I know the team. But I don't think it is. So I'm trying to make Togekiss viable and it's looking good. In my opinion, Togekiss, since the conception of VGC 2020 and onwards, has never been bad. I just don't think it's ever been bad. I think it just fell out of style, to be honest. Where's their Landorus answer? They like don't have one. Okay, let's take it. Lando Valley leads really good. Kyogre in the back, uh, Zacian in the back, we're good. The only thing I'm a little bit scared of is like uh, speed swap shenanigans with Feromosa, which could be a thing. It could also be like Ice Beam Feromosa, but if I get to plus one speed and they don't have Tailwind, we're good. Futuristic Incineroar Gen 9 will just be Marcus with a wrestling belt on. <laughs> Maybe. We can petition for it, I guess. By the way, shout out to me. I was on time for a stream today. I'm like never on time. Where did Drago cosplay when? Uh, 20,000 subscribers. Feromosa Yveltal. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, why do I feel like you might be something really annoying? Why do I feel like you might be, like, weakness policy? I'm a little bit scared of Ice Beam. Didn't the subscriber goal met on YouTube? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm at five subscribers on YouTube. What are you guys talking about? I got five subs. Alright, um... I don't trust this Feromosa. Let's just snarl. I think he wants us to unsub. No, don't. It's it, it's my serotonin number. All right. I mean, it's Lando, so it can tank an ice beam, but I don't know if it takes a double up. So I'm like just paranoid about this Faramosa. Alright. 
I just realized that this could be coaching. And if it is, that's fine. If it's coaching, that's like fine. Speed swap. I'll take it. That's actually like probably the best outcome. Max Airstream. And he's physical, it looks like. Yeah, he might be a special attacker. But if he's special attacker, he doesn't have a life orb, so. And if he is a special attacker, he's about to get uh, nanated on by a snarl. Break the most likely sash on the Pheromosa. Weakness policy plus Skitter Smack plus Lash Out. Uh, Evelto is not weak to bug moves, it's half flying type. Alright, luckily, uh, if a Groudon comes out, we can Parting Shot on it. Self Triple Axle, baby. Yeah, I guess that was an option, though, wasn't it? Alright, uh, I'm gonna say that that is special Eveltal, so uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna Airstream into you. Maybe I just Quake. I think Quake's actually a little bit better. No, I'll airstream. I'll airstream into you, um, and I'll parting shot your Groudon. Maybe I just parting shot the Eveltal, actually. Yeah, I think parting shot Eveltal is a lot smarter. Yeah, good. Because now we can determine if it's a physical or special attacker. Or, or not not determine, but like regardless of the outcome, we get a we get a drop here. Really hope it's a special attacker. It gets revealed here. Yes, it is. Awesome. Very cool. Get the parting shot. I can get a Kyogre in now. I don't really fear anything in particular. Maybe I actually just get in, like, Zacian. Because I want to cycle in Lando one more time. No, I'll just go Kyogre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go Kyogre. I'll just multi-attack work. Um, it's 120 base power. And it uses the typing that So Valley is at that moment. Which ours is electric. Okay. Get an airstream, that's a speed boost for our Kyogre. And it's in my best interest to max guard here, funny enough. Is it? No, I'll just Airstream. Because then I'm always faster than Groudon. Airstream Origin Pulse. It's not like Eveltal has damage versus us. Yo, Marcus, we played yesterday, so Valley was not there. Yeah, that was, um... If you played me and I was using a Calyrex Groudon team, that was actually me and Joe for an episode of, uh... For an episode of, uh... Gigantic Quest. Also, whoever we played yesterday, I think we were a little bit mean at one point, so no offense, we, we're, we're content creators, we just have to talk about people who we face in a negative light. That's our rule. Like when I say I'm gonna nay-nay all over people, that definitely doesn't mean I'm about to lose Tween of Eltal. So one of you, whoever we faced, maybe we were a little mean, I apologize. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way, we don't have to be mean, it's just saying that like, when you're a content creator and, like, you just want to, like, just be, like, a, a goofball like me, uh, sometimes I'll be like, look at him, he's garbage, and I, like, don't mean it, obviously. And you guys know I don't mean it, because I'm garbage at this game, like, 99% of the time. Content creator trash talk, yes. So, I think half the reason, like, content creator trash talk's a thing, um, is because, like, when you lose, you're like, yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> That's probably like half the reason. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and sack both of these Pokemon because I want to win with Soul Valley. I really, I really, you know, let's Hyper Beam too. Why not? Let's Hyper Beam the Whimsicott. The Soul Valley just wins. Unless they're like fake tears, then that might be a little bit of an issue. 
to uh, what? I didn't know you got that. All right, that's fine. You did like no damage. Rock slide should go first. So I want to see if this hyper beam. Well, obviously it's not gonna crit now. It's not gonna KO now without a crit. I mean, but I, re I was really hoping we get a, a KO with hyper beam here. See, content creators have to trash talk their opponents because they've already lost the game of life by making Pokemon content. Alright, that's fine. I literally just want to get the Soul Valley in so I can get a KO on Eden and be like, Guys, look! Soul Valley, the Legend Killer! And then I can do like the... Am I doing it right? Okay. Thumbnail. No. Alright. So Valley, get in there. Do the thing. Yeah, and Cinder 3 coming and clutch this game, to be honest. Like, he was actually doing really good. Multi-attack. Alright, take your bets. Does it one-shot? Does it not? I'm also going to hyper-beam you again. Let me get this multi-attack. I want, I want the multi-attack for the thumbnail. Come on. Let me multi-attack you for the thumbnail. I demand it. It's my only wish. More Peko gets card parting shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, now it's definitely not going to one-shot, but I'm fine with that because I still win. This is, this is literally just thumbnail fishing at this point. Boom. Oh wait, that's a trash animation. That isn't even going to make it in the thumbnail. I'm actually really upset about that. Yeah, anyways. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get the real MVP in. <laughs> you know that scene in Spongebob where it's like, introducing, like, the something something is really scary, and it's like, and he, he is, and it's like this big buff guy walking in, carrying the real competitor. <laughs> that's so Valley right now. Like, literally, he's carrying in Zacian. Because they're just parting shot get in the Zacian. Just making a nuke in post when it attacks, good point. Hyperbeam Kyogre will be the thumbnail. No, Hyperbeam Kyogre is like yesterday's news. Like, is it still good? And is it still surprising that it's good? Kinda, right? But it's only good because of Max Strike. This is one of like the anomalies of um of, of Dynamax formats. The fact that you can run Hyperbeam. Yeah, we'll use the parting shot animation. How about that? Or the hyperbeam. <laughs> Imagine, like, losing because your opponent hyperbeamed three times in a row. <laughs> I could click a water move at any point. <laughs> but the Kyogre's literally just like, no. It's, it just keeps hyperbeaming. <laughs> It's it. This Kyogre is just like a. It, it's it's a. It's got Truant built into its move set. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just it just dawned on me that this that from my opponent's perspective, they're facing a guy with a Soul Valley whose Kyogre only hyper beamed this game pretty much. <laughs> I'm just that just dawned on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Dude, that's the thing. I forgot I was encored into Hyper Beam. I'm just clicking it because it's funny. I unironically forgot I was I, I was I was encored. I was just like 700 earlier. We were like 600. Oh, rank 22. Okay. Okay, this is just coaching cheese. Um, let me think. Uh, coaching cheese hates Lando, but Lando hates Thundee, so that's not great. How's your new job? Uh, where is it at? I'm not going to tell you where it is, but it's it's a nice place, and I like it, and that's all that really matters, you know? The quarry isn't water, it's closer to a half-normal saline. <laughs> Alright, uh, I like Amoongus on lead here. I like Lando in the back. Um, or actually, I could... 
Ah, I don't want to lead off Lando. As good as Lando is, I don't want to lead it. I do need to lead like a Moongus, though. Hmm. I think I have to. I have to. But I don't want to. I need Kyogre in the back, I know that much. Uh. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right. Be a be 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 brave. Come on, I'm gonna lead off Lando. I'm being brave. I'm brave. I'm brave. There's not gonna be a Thundy on lead. This is a hard read. This is a hard read. There is no Thundy on lead. And if there is a Thundy on lead, I'm just gonna put to sleep. Easy. Cause I'm Sash. They're not gonna fake out me. I mean, we're stupid. Okay, cool. That's like the only lead I wanted. They might be whiter, though. That same note. Um, congrats on the job, Moxie. Haven't caught a stream since you got it. Hope it's going well. It is. I really enjoy it. Are you the illegal item? Are you is 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 Groudon using that herb? No, he's not. Okay, Groudon is not on that herb. Noted. Noted. Okay. Um, I don't want you to coach. Coach, do not put him in. Send him to the Shadow Realm. What's that? What I? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I've never seen. Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but I do know of a funny little, funny little thing that they say in the movie where he says, Mr. Electric, have him expelled immediately. Is this true? Does he say this? Is this a funny that happens in the movie? I think I win. They didn't bring the, they didn't bring the Thundy. I think I win. Um, no, because I didn't airstream the venue. In fact, they did a perfect switch on me. But I can outspeed it next turn, if I just go Kyogre. But if it's Sash, I lose. <laughs> if it's Sash, I lose. I could, I could just dodge, though. I could just dodge. Which is the movie that says that's not the guy, he's the guy. Uh, that's... Uh, that's the uh, Academy Award winning movie, uh, Spy Kids 3, Game Over. Okay, are you Sash? Which is, I guess, a better question. Um, are you good at the game? Let's go Kyogre. And I'm going to attempt to airstream your Venusaur. Do not resist. Do not be Sash. It could also be Koba. As he withdraws, okay. Zamazenta, the Galar champ. Whenever I use um, a Regieleki, I like to think of that one scene from Sharkboy and Lava Girl. But like instead of Mr. Electric send him to the principal's office immediately and have him expelled, I prefer to think about it as like Mr. Electric send him directly to hell, because that's what it's like. You use you use a Regieleki, you use one shot things, you know. Why does everyone have a shiny Amoongus? Um, because it was an event Pokemon. However, mine is not the event version. I've just always had a shiny Amoongus since like Gen Five. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm good. Like, TBH, dude, I think I'm, like, good. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, please knock out my Kyogre, actually. That's not very baller. 
However, I am guaranteed faster this next turn. Is my play to airstream again and go Thundy? I would say so. No guard. Okay, that's what I needed. That's actually really good, um, because I, like, they probably have wide guard if we're being real. But I have rain dance, so they might not even try. Yeah, no, the, the shiny Amoongus... Um, was from South Korea. Am I using my event one, though? I think I'm just using one that I had. Alright, let me think. Uh... I might just go Amoongus here. Yeah, I think I go on Moongus, um, because I need to spore that, I need to spore that Zacian. Or not Zacian, Zamazenta. Zacian's less cool younger brother. Because that blocks, um, wide guard for the rest of the match, more or less. And I'm good. Is Thunderbolt worth it? I definitely just Spore. I don't know if Thunderbolt KOs, though. I'm probably just get it faked out, though. Let's see if I can Spore you. If I Spore you, I think I just win. Because I don't want to deal with Wide Guard in the late game. Okay. That didn't KO, unfortunately. I was really hoping that would. Um, I do the same thing here. Because I should take a Behemoth Blade. Or a Behemoth Bash. Ooh, that's the question though. Maybe I Seed Bomb. Maybe I Seed Bomb here and go like right into my dude. Because they, they could just block this and like recycle their Fake Out, which I think they want to. So I think I always Seed Bomb actually. But I can't go Kyogre yet. Ugh, this sucks. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Because they want to keep that fake out for later. Imagine if Zamazenta won World Sensation didn't. That'd be wild. I would love to live in that reality. That'd be hilarious. Coaching, okay. I can win this. I can win this with one simple trick. I am going to spore their Zamazenta and Rain Dance and just be faster, because that's how it works. That did no damage. That did no damage. I spore, I Rain Dance. That is my out. they just like stone edge my um my thunder so that'd be great because i am terribly scared of the unrevealed wide guard but we saw coaching we saw snarl behemoth bash the last move has to be like wide guard right maybe they're close combat maybe i have nothing to fear in the end maybe maybe the wide guard was the friends we made along the way It could also be a fast one. It could also be a fast Groudon. Rock slide? Okay. 
Cool. So don't flinch me. I'm really glad my chair has this lever that lets me do that. Ah, it's not the end of the world. It really depends. Like I said, for all we know, they just don't have it. They, would, they don't have it. There's no way they have it, right? They snarled. Okay, I think I can win this. But it's going to be really, really annoying. <laughs> How much is this doing? Not enough. That was really bad. I'm really upset about that. Um, I can always dodge like a rock slide or a pea blades and still win though. Let's see if I was even faster. Not Rage Powder. It's poor. The Protects is just going to try to wake up. Honestly, I don't mind. Gives me opportunities to crit this Amazenta. Crit? No. Okay. That means their last move definitely isn't wide guard, because they could have just clicked it last turn. Samazenta so stays asleep. Let's see if I'm faster and I crit, or if I can dodge a move. I am faster, so that would have literally been game. Can you explain why Kyogre has Hyper Beam instead of Ice Beam? Hyper Beam is really good for speed control, to be honest, and it's just funny. Fire Punch? Oh, they are scared of this. Yeah, that's probably AB route on them. I probably would have won. Maybe I can crit the grout on this turn and win anyways. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's that's like fine. Crit? Possible? No. Dodge? Oh, it was Citrus. Okay. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate miss. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the uh, for the sub Wild Clogs. You blades. Ah. <laughs> ah, man, we literally would have won if we didn't flinch there. That was a thirty percent chance to lose. It's Behemoth Bash. We didn't see the last move though. We still didn't see the last move. Coaching Snarl Behemoth Bash. Did it ever close combat? I can only assume that's the move. This wide guard would have been so good earlier. Alright, we still have another turn to crit. Let's see if we can, like, double crit both these Pokemon. Check it out. Easy double crit. Nope. Shame. Alright, that's fine. It happens. It happens. That's gonna be it for tonight, though. That will be our last match. So I think we ended at like rank 900, so we didn't really move up or down.